Hi guys, and welcome back to Reads Readers with your host, Clinton Reed. And today I've got a book on the haul. Not a very big one, but hey, I do what I can. Um, also, sorry if you hear the fan. It is way too hot in here. Otherwise, I just filmed a really long video that I hope you guys like, and it's not the best. Not the greatest bookshelf tour, but hey, I'm pretty sure this does is gonna go up after the bookshelf tour. But yeah, a couple of friends had asked for both of these, so I have a stack over here. Let's see if I can grab it. Of books I'm going to unhaul. Don't know if I'm gonna do them right away or what just yet, but. These are ones that are probably at least going to go in the tote in my closet. No, one of them is going to go to a coworker because she loves her paranormals. But, let's get into it. Which, the one that's going to go to my coworker, my boss, is Nice Girls Don't Have Things by Molly Harper. She's a librarian with a long, a really long shelf life. And it's a signed copy that I got in like a book exchange and I just couldn't get into it. It was too cheesy, and I know my boss loves her cheesy vampires, so why not? Next is Demigods and Magicians, Percy and Annabeth Meet the Canes by Rick Riordan. It's a short story collection of three stories that cross over the Egyptian and the Greek stories, and I have two copies of this because I received one for Christmas. I'm keeping the one that I received for Christmas and getting rid of my original copy because I don't need to have to. Next is Blood Rose Rebellion by Rosalind Eats. I bought this because of a cover buy and I... This cover is gorgeous and I haven't heard the best thing. So, it's by people who I trust and admire and have similar reading tastes as me. So, it's going away. That's literally what I'm doing with a lot of these. Is I either attempted them or I haven't heard good things, and I just don't feel the need to read them or have them on my shelf because hearing not so good things from people who read the same type of stuff as me makes me really not want to touch them. I'll move the light over there and hope it stays up because it's sitting on my bed. Next, I have Avenged and Ruined. I'm really into fantasy, but I have heard these are really more cheesy, tropey kind of fantasies, and I don't have the third one. So, I got them earlier this year, and I thought I was going to read them because they sounded really cool and really good. But a friend of mine, who we have really, really similar tastes when it comes to fantasy, hated these. So, I'm just going to do myself a favor. And they're just gonna go away. And if I ever feel like I want to read them, I'll read one from the library. The first one, and just try it out. Same with Diabolic. I was gonna be unhauling the Empress, which is book two to this, but my cousin took it. So yeah. Um, haven't heard really good things about this, and I'm not the big. It wasn't one that I was like really interested in, but I got off of Book Outlet because it had been on my TBR list for a while, and I just have no desire to read it. And there's so many other things I want to read. Um, I'm getting rid of Ebon Moon by Dennis McDonald. It is a signed copy. It might go to a friend of mine about werewolves based in Oklahoma. Um, just, I really couldn't get into the writing. I have tried to read this on multiple, multiple occasions over the past, like, four years of me owning it. Three or four years. And I can't get past the second chapter because the writing, and you just don't, like, don't mix. So, it's going away. Met the author. The author's awesome. I'm going to get rid of Fushigi Yugi and the Mysterious Play, Volume 1, The Priestess, which is the American version of the manga, which I thought I would keep it because I'm a huge Fushigi Yugi fan, but the American can go away because American style manga is stupid. 
No, if and whoop. Yeah, if and for buts about it. Please don't fall again. Ooh. I'm also going to get rid of the spell book of Listen Taylor by Jacqueline Moriarty. I tried. Read that much into it and had to DNF because the writing is just not for me. It's a gorgeous book. Like, the undercover is so pretty. It's just, nope. Mm -mm. Main character's name is Listen, by the way. Just, mm -mm. Mm -mm. not about that life. Not having it. And the next two, I'm a little sad and disappointed about getting rid of because I was trying to buddy read these with a couple of friends and I just really couldn't get into them. First one was our March book club book for the back of the book club. And that is The Lost Girls of Paris by Pam Genoff. I made it about there and I just couldn't get into it. So this one's uh, still a potential I may keep and try again, but it, for now it's going to go into the unhaul pile. Um, I may attempt it again when I'm in the mood for historical fiction, but right now I just gotta take it off my shelf because I'm just very sad that I couldn't get into it. But maybe I'm just not in the right mindset for it right now. Because it is a gorgeous, that cover is so pretty, and then like deckled edges. And French flaps, just, oh, And I paid full price for it, too. Normally I don't like unhauling books that I paid full price for either. Which I can't tell you how much I paid. Because there's no price on it. That is really weird. But yeah, I'm just going to put it in the unhaul pile. It may get kept. If you guys think I should keep it and try again, comment down below. I already know Nikki's probably going to comment down below and try to tell me to keep it because she really loved it. But right now, it's one of those that I'm like, I just couldn't get into. Now, this next one. I bought the audiobook for and I got this in the well and just could not, I mean, could not get into it. I fell asleep. I was so looking forward to this being something for me, for really good things, and I realized it's really not. And I was buddy reading this with Nikki, and even she said she had, she really loved it in the end, but she had to push herself to force herself to finish it. But we buddy read it in January, and I just feel like I need to get it off my shelf and make room for things that spark joy. And this book really irritates me because I DNF'd it after 200 pages. I made it 200 pages. And at that 200 page mark, I made it this far. Still didn't know what was going on. And I said I was going to attempt it again, but I don't think it's for me. And that's Outlander by Diana Gavadon very disappointed that I couldn't get into it. It's just, I didn't care about the characters. I'll watch the show. The show seems really interesting, but for some reason I just, the writing style in me just really don't click, so yeah. But those are the books that I'm going to be unhauling. <sighs> <sighs> the box I'm going to be unhauling. In the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books are going to go into my unhaul bucket. And whenever I fill up that bucket, they'll all go away. Unless you guys, comment down below if you've read any of these books and you think I should keep them and give them another chance. The only book that I won't for a fact is Outlander because I know it's just not for me. But you guys could always well that and Yvonne Moon. 
but if you guys think I sh would love one of these, is it one of your favorite books, comment down below, and I may keep it and I may try it chapter tag. Or I might read it for a vlog and just tell you what I think. But yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe. And until next time, remember kids, reading is what? Fundamental. Bye.